Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm here today to film my August, August plan with me. I did a simple rose theme for this month, for next month. And I basically drew some simple roses stuck in this post-it note. It is like this kind of smarties post-it note. And I just wrote August 2024. I added some leaves, some vines, some roses as well. I did this fun little back, this fun little sticker. And on the left hand side, I wrote back to school month. And I didn't really add much there. I just wrote back to school month. I didn't have any ideas. I might go back to that, go back to that later and add some designs. But yeah, I added this fun little post it. And I will be starting high school on August 14th. So in a little over, a little bit less than a month from the day that I'm filming this. And I want, I decided to go back to my grade check i didn't do my grade check for i don't think i did my grade check for may or june because i didn't do anything for march and april like any um spreads for that month for march and april but in may i didn't even do a grade check because there was really no point it was becoming the end of the year and for June, I was, I'm on summer break, so I didn't do anything, but July, I'm not in school yet, so I just have my title page, a quote, the quotes of, favorite quotes of the month, and a mood tracker, but I'm not doing the favorite quotes of the month for August, because I wanted to do my grade check, because that's more important, so I have six classes in ninth grade, and um, I don't really care about how even the squares are, I just like, kind of just drew them on there. And for the same for the mood tracker, like they're kind of sloppy, but I don't really care because I do not want this journal to feel like a pressure, you know. And I recently started a new notebook, so like I started a new life journal. It's like this. I shared it in my life update video, but I, it's like this um sketchbook, and it's like the um one from Daiso. It's like the craft notebook. It's only fifty sheets. Because I realize that I'm not, like, journaling as much, and I don't need, like, a 100-page notebook, you know? And I'll try to insert a picture of it in this, um, video. But, yeah, I really love this journal. I've been working on it for a little over, a little over four days. And I've done a couple spreads already, and it's really fun. So I will probably continue this until the end of the year, or until, like, August, probably. But... Yeah, I'm very excited to continue working on this. It's so sad seeing it really skinny, which it probably will be pretty skinny because it's soft cover. Soft cover holds up a little bit better than hard cover. Let's see when I complete my other slash last life journal. It's a little bit chunky. I will be filming a flip through at the end of the year of the last couple of spreads that I have left that I didn't share at the mid-year flip through. But I started this journal in March and put it on the 14th of July which was a little over four days ago and um yeah this journal is like chunky chunky like it's really chunky like i can't even close it anymore so that's why i did start a new journal i got this journal from daiso it came in a pack of i well i got two because i want to use it into the end of the year so i got two of the same craft notebooks to use as my life journal just in case if i finish the first one before december but yeah i'm very excited about these two journals and I plan on using them for the end of the year. And then 2025, I don't know what kind of journal I'm gonna be using, but hopefully something similar to what I'm using right now. And I probably might continue doing this type of journal because I really like how it's like small enough to the point where I can like fill up the entire page without leaving anything blank. Like it's enough to fill up um, whatever I have, what I collected throughout the day. Like, I did this spread when I went to LA on the 16th of July. Like, I stuck in the receipts and a sticker. And this, like, little postcard that we went to, like, this store. They had really cute items, but really expensive. And I, um, stuck it in. I'll try to insert a picture of what the spread looks like. Okay, so now moving on to the next spread. This spread is what I do to use for my grade check. This is where I write down my grade check every week. So there's only three weeks that I'm in school. But I'm only in school from a Wednesday through a Friday the first week. Then the second week, Monday through Friday. The third week, also Monday through Friday. So I just, set, just wrote grade check in the, this pink marker that I got from the dollar store years ago, I think. And just drew rows, wrote the box, drew the boxes. Once again, pretty sloppy because I can care less at this point about this 
notebook because I like to put all the effort into my life journal, you know. But I have like this grade check and I stuck in the box. I wrote the drew the boxes and wrote week one, week two, and week three. And then I on the next page, like on the right hand side, I wrote mood tracker and basically drew 31 boxes because it's 31 months 31 months 31 days in the month so 1 through 31 and once again the boxes are really sloppy and the numbers too but i don't really care and i added another plant sticker don't let the hard days win added, added some washi tape also i haven't been adding as much washi tape in my journals because i like don't really use washi tape as much anymore for some reason but yeah i didn't add any washi tape in this journal spread in these journal spreads i only added it onto the first on the last spread which is a mood tracker i just added it so i can layer some things but yeah i am going to create like the color combo probably with some um highlighters because i used markers and that was a big mistake and i really don't want to ruin the number like i can't see the numbers when i use it so i'm going to use yellow blue and purple for my mood trackers and i'm having i didn't do that in this video but i will insert a picture of what colors i'm going to be using in this for my mood tracker so i'm just doing it now Oh, sorry, it's dark blue, purple, and light blue. So, first ones, what did I do for July? Tired, bored, meh, happy. Okay, I'm going to change it up a little bit so the first one is going to be happy. Tired is going to be light blue. And then fun is going to be purple. I'll insert a photo at the end of this um, video, but I basically did these highlighters that I got from Daiso. It's a Strike Twice Dual End Highlighter. It's a chisel tip, and there's also, also a highlighter tip as well. And these are from Typo. They were only, I don't even know, like $2 each my, that I got for Christmas, and I just use them. I'm going to use them for my mood tracker in... August and I'm gonna use them to like color in the boxes of how I feel. I might add the yellow one Just set right Bored just in case if I'm not bored at all in August and then I'm gonna use a different highlighter and I'm gonna use Use that as busy For August because I'm in school in August. So I'm gonna use red for busy makes more sense in my mind and yeah i'll insert the photo but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i let me know what kind of videos you would like to see from me in august i am planning on filming a um get ready with me for my first year of high school and obviously i'm gonna have some like vlogs some school vlogs some day in my life morning routines and night routines but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys have a good day and night and i'll hopefully see you guys in my next video bye but yes thank you guys so much for watching once again let me know what kind of videos you guys would like to see from me and i will hopefully see you guys in my next video bye